and it's Thursday so you know what that means it's what's new at always in stitches I'm so excited to get to see you today because you know this is kind of the magic of video you're gonna see this on Thanksgiving Day uh, because we're filming this a few days before so you can have it and watch that day because we're all at home stuffing ourselves with turkeys we're being big turkeys right Peter how much turkey are you gonna eat I'm gonna be a little piggy because I'm stuffing myself with Italian food oh okay that that almost sounds better because we had our Thanksgiving sort of on Sunday this past weekend with the family so turkey day will actually be a little more low-key but yeah thank you <laughs> Italian I could do Italian that would be really good that sounds yummy okay so what's new Thursday you can hear the peanut gallery in the back can you not hear how much fun we have in this store we we are just the fun store all the way around so um, you want to stay tuned all the way through the end of this video because there's some really cool stuff coming at the end where you get to meet all our staff and hear about some of the things going on in their lives so don't stop watching watch the whole video but I did have to show you some things what's new. Rather than run all over the store because I picked stuff from everywhere that's new, we're in our recording studio. And so you get a little more noise back there because the peanut gallery, as we call it. You may hear people shredding paper. You may hear the phones ringing. You know, it's just us being a busy place. So, so don't let that distract you. Um, okay, so where are we going to start, Peter? Um, let's start with Punch Needle. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, so Punch Needle is a craft that has really had a resurgence, and I'm really excited to share some things with you. Um, if you've not done Punch Needle, you start with this here tool, and it's a, it's a needle punch set. You have to have this. This is kind of the basic thing. Um, it's $27 for this particular tool, but what a minimal investment to have an entire craft. You don't have to buy sewing machines and lots of supplies and stuff. You can get started with this one little tool. Um, and there's directions in there how to use it. There's a little threader and all that kind of stuff. We have a video where Dawn teaches you how to do punch needle. Peter's going to link that to this so you can connect the two. Um, but you've got to have this little tool to start so buy one of these oh there's the shredder Ta -da! <laughs> don't you love it okay we have important papers just so you know all the documents in our building that are important are shredded you know sometimes accidentally <laughs> <laughs> oops we shouldn't have shredded that okay but anyway punch needle that's what that is so you need a punch needle and that will then make let me just show you if Peter can zero in on these little adorable it's not a bad prank to put on the intern to say hey we accidentally shredded this can you piece this back yeah, together exactly can you put this that's what we do we sew things back together right so this is a punch needle cut this is from Teresa Kogut and it's a snowman and house ornament it comes in one pattern these are 3.25 by six and a half inches so you can get a dimension size on it um, you use just embroidery floss and what you do is you punch that floss from the back side and it makes this bumpy kind of like latch hook rugs used to be I don't I, we need touch a vision again so many times I need touch a vision but this is has texture to it and you get the pattern so here we have the lovely pattern that shows you how to make those two little things you could have these done for Christmas you really could they're small enough um, and punch needle is is such a fun thing because it's I don't really want to say brainless but I guess that's the right word I mean you just literally are taking this needle and punching it through the fabric and it and it makes loops that then um, create the texture so it's really a cool project it's a great beginner project I think it would be good for um, younger people or maybe people with less um, crafting skills um, and gosh what a great stocking stuffer too I think you could buy this pattern and the ultra needle ultra punch needle and the supplies to go with it and you'd have a really nice Christmas gift for somebody um, to start their Christmas stocking um, and then this is actually a magazine from the country from the people punch needle and primitive stitchery so this has all kinds of wonderful ideas of things you can do again this would have a lot of patterns in it and it also has information about how to do punch needle we have these in the store um, and they're a delightful book that comes out usually I think they come out more than once as far as the time of year we're very limited on the number of copies we get, though. Yeah, it, it's and this sells out usually pretty quick. But, again, if you've got somebody who's a punch needle or an embroidery enthusiast, this would be a good Christmas gift, too. Let me just tell you, so I don't say it every single time, everything here 
is a good Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you covered it. I covered it. So I won't say that a dozen times, but just think Christmas gifts, okay? Here's another one. This is another little... What if somebody's birthday is in December? <laughs> well, then you buy them. Okay, so I had always decided if I ever had a baby in December that was born in December, I was going to celebrate their birthday in July because, I mean, good grief. You celebrate your birthday with Jesus? Come on. That's kind of a high level of trying to share a birthday month with. But, yeah, that's kind of not fair. Okay, so here's another one. This is a um, sloth. <laughs> this is a sloth, and again, he's kind of small. He finishes about three and a half inches square. He's got the hoop. You've got the floss that comes in the kit. You'll have the directions on how to make it, but it doesn't have the needle, so you're going to have to buy the punch needle. Um, sometimes people have these laying around. They don't even know what they are, so if you've got this flinky do thing and you don't know what it is, come in. We'll help you use it. It does have to be assembled in a particular way, and if you lose the parts, it won't work right. So um, don't hesitate to let us help you with that. So that's punch needle. Along that same line, we saw these at market, and they're here. And I actually have, I, I wonder if they could guess which one went home with me. Okay. You suppose Was they could guess? the owl? Maybe. Could it have been the bee? Mm, possibly. Could it be this bird? Bing, 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 bing. You know, I'm a freak for a flamingo. Um, so this is little, they're like little felt, and they have everything in them you need to make the project. Even the fluff, even the needle, everything is there. And I love complete kits. They're only six bucks. What, again, I'm not supposed to say it, but I'll say stocking stuffer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? Stocking I love it. Stuffer. Stocking stuffer. Oh my goodness. So this one's sitting by my table. I'm trying to get it made, but I, you know. I'm so question. Do you get it to put in somebody else's stocking so they can make it for you? You could. So I if mean, I, do you I think should, if you know, I put that in one of my coworkers' stockings, like they uh, do it and assemble it and then give it back? You know, that's a thought. I should give this one to my daughter and have her make it for me for Christmas. That's a real. You good know idea. what? If any of our employees are watching, yeah. and we have that ornament exchange, you can just buy that and then they can make it. That would be great. Yeah, we do an ornament exchange. It's kind of a fun thing for our annual staff Christmas party. We do an ornament exchange. Everybody makes an ornament. Well, everybody's given the opportunity to make an ornament. We also have this caveat: if you don't want to make it you can buy it but it's a fun little thing where we exchange ornament and some people come up with the most amazing creative things work on them all year i may not quite get that done but anyway. but somebody can steal your ornament but right? you steal yeah so we play this game it's like you steal the ornament we open it and then we steal it's the secret santa thing and it gets a little bloody i mean people <laughs> get like except virginia always gets the the sweater she always gets the same sweater she brings it and she ends up with it every year because then she doesn't have to make it again virginia's our our adult, most most mature adult uh, mascot here at the store, I guess I'll call her. Okay, so that's the or little ornaments. Could you say that she's um, senior administrator? Yes, she is. She is our most. Yeah, she is part of what we call lo lovingly call our adult daycare program, and she comes in and does stuff for us all the time. We couldn't do it without her. Believe me, her and Grandma Ginger are, are big deals. So let me show you these other little things. These are needle minders. Now this one. How cool is that? That's an Always in Stitches design that we had designed years ago for a pen, and we had it made into a needle minder. So this is an object that you place on your embroidery work, and then when you're not sewing with your needle, you can it's magnetic, and you can put your needle on it, and you don't lose your needle. Um, I've also seen people attach these to their clothes just to, you know, have some place to stick their sewing scissors or things like that. But they're always fun little decorative, you know, just cutesy tootsy. Again, that stocking stuffer thing, these oh, would be great. Cute. Isn't that cute, the little kitty cat in the teacup? That one, you know what? I'm hoping somebody at my house is watching. These would make some good I think stuff or stuffers. I think we're missing one. Are we? Yeah, we're missing one of the equine. Oh, was there a horse one? There should be. There should be, shouldn't there? <laughs> Poor Peter. They left out the whole horse thing. That's not fair for him. Darn it. Okay, we'll have to work, we'll work on that. We'll look for a horse needle, mind, needle minder. It's hard to say. Needle minder. Last video, if you watched, 
I talked about the cave fabric that we had for men, and I mentioned this gear bag. And I don't think I showed it to you, so I wanted to, if you, if you didn't see the video, go back, watch the previous week. And then this is what's called the gear bag. And this is the coolest bag. It's got all these little pockets in it down here. And I think the idea is it's designed with, um, with a particularly men in mind for like their shaving kit if they would go out of town. But my son actually uses it to put cassettes in and stuff for his um, computer and video games. And there's a little pocket out here. You sew these little loopy doos on it so that, you know, it's easy to pull the pockets. Um, you have a pocket out here. This would be great for crafting too. You could put your pens and pencils, you know, Rotary things like cutter. that. Rotary cutter. Oh my gosh, yeah. And this tongue on it here just makes it really easy to get in and out of. It's Dawn, nice. Dawn could use it to put all of her half square triangles yes. and to take to a court retreat and then sew together. That's right. Except, you know, she could put, she makes such tiny ones, she would have a lot to put in here. So this is what it's called Double Zip Gear Bag 2.0. This is her newest pattern, or the new version of this pattern. It's really well done. It's got little handles on the end. See, there's a handle. So you can carry it like that way once it's closed. I actually, when I made it for my son, put a shoulder strap on it because he wanted to be able to take it with him when he when he walked around Tokyo because when you're you're in Tokyo you're not uh, driving anywhere you're walking and riding subways so anyway that's the gear bag we talked about so if you were like I watched the whole video and she didn't show the gear bag here it is right there I didn't I didn't forget you okay this corner now let's go here move these over a little bit restage look at the next thing so Lori Holt is a really fun designer. She does beautiful stuff. Um, and we have had some of her fabric in the past. We don't have much of it now. But what we have found is we've got some other fabric lines, particularly this one, this Forget Me Not by Allison Harris. It really lends very well to the Lori Holt patterns if you're a Lori Holt pattern fan. What um, if I love Lori Holt so much in... My Lori Holt fabric is just too precious to cut up, <laughs> but I want to make the projects in the book. Yeah, that's exactly. I could use the forget-me-not. You could. and I, So, you all know I'm a big Tula fan, and I have Tula fabric that literally it just sits on the shelf just be so I can pet it and look at it, and I won't cut it up. Now, I like Anna Maria Horner's fabric. Hers is fabric is lovely, too, but I'll cut it up. I'm not afraid to cut <laughs> it up. That sounds kind of bad, but I will. I'll cut it up. I'm not afraid to cut Anna's fabric up, and I love the, the way it feels. But some of my Tula, baby, it just has to sit there, <laughs> and I might cut it someday. Yeah. But, uh, but, you it know, has to age like a fine wine or a does. cigar. It's just pretty. You're, I, you're aging it. I hope when the time comes that they have to sort out my stash, somebody appreciates all the fabric. But for those of you who do like There'll to There'll probably cut up, be an auction and it'll, and it'll be advertised in like a quilt magazine. Oh, like that's it. Tula Collector yeah. Auction. Well, if you want to see some outrageous stuff, go to the Tula Swap sites and look at how much some of her fabric goes for it is unbelievable unbelievable especially if it's out of print so here's and actually Lori Holt's got kind of the same thing going on a little bit not quite to the level Tula does but so here's some patterns I wanted to get you some of her books because she does just write really good books 32 scrappy quilts she's kind of the scrappy queen um, vintage farm girl we did that one uh, as a class series and um, we have currently going this class which is a vintage Christmas, and it's the same. These um, blocks are so stinking cute. They are just adorable. The staff bring them into our staff meetings and show us every week, two or three, that they've made, and they are just absolutely precious. They're a little tedious. So we have a class, and the class started in September, but you could certainly get caught up. Nancy, um, who works here at our shop, offers this class on the third Thursday. More or less, it's the third Thursday, um, and it goes from five to six. Um, there's 12 classes in all, and um, the class price, if you go to our website, includes all the materials that you need. Um, I don't know if the books Nancy is the book included no no so you have to buy the book you need to buy this book sign up for the class and then you get all the this beautiful 
tub of fabric. It's not really a tub, it's a bag, but it's beautiful. Chest. Yeah, it's like this big, big bunch of fabric to make this quilt with, and it's really, really, really cute. So if you're looking for a project or a monthly class you would like to join, Again, you know, I'm not supposed to say it's a Christmas present, but this would be a really cool Christmas gift for somebody because it's the gift that gives all year. Um, it goes all the way through um, September of 2023. So you'll actually have this quilt done, the idea is, wow. in time for Christmas next year. That's awesome. And you know that's the trick. So here's, here's the trick. When you make a quilt, you say, I'm making this for a Christmas present. We don't say what year. Okay, so if I'm making a Christmas quilt right now, I'm making a quilt for Christmas. I could tell you that, and you could go, oh, isn't that lovely? I don't mean 2022. I'm talking 2026, <laughs> just so you know, because we don't always commit to the year that it's going to be done, but that holiday will come around again, and we can claim a different holiday if we want. And I'd like to make a point. Sure. Um, not only are you going to be able to take the class, but I feel as if you're taking a class from somebody who is extremely qualified. Why do I say that? Because she did Farm Girl Vintage. She, she made the whole quilt. She did this She one. finished it. She didn't just yeah. do a block. Oh, I'm going to do a couple blocks and teach yeah. a class. I mean, she sewed the whole entire quilt. She taught everybody else how to make the whole entire quilt. So she's already been through one Lori Holt. So you have the opportunity to just absorb like a sponge all of her wealth of information that she yeah. has to offer. And I think that's what's special, and I just want to say that. You're absolutely right. I mean, I... And I this, you know, it was funny. I saw something the other day that said about how sometimes we we get into things that we don't know how to do, but because we're more adventuresome, we're willing to take the risk and dive in and just do it. The reality is you need help. And, and we're afraid to go, well, I had to have help to make that sometimes. But you need help. Let us help you. That's what we're here for. We're not going to judge you. We're not going to quilt shame you. We're not going to say, oh. Unless you're a... Uh staff member maybe. Yeah, yeah if you're a staff member we're going to harass you a little bit but honestly we don't quilt judge here and so if you've never made a quilt and you're like i really want to make a quilt help me get into a class we will connect you and nancy's one of our great instructors and we've got several but she is one that's really good because she's done this and so she's going to walk you through it so yeah peter's right right on thanks for pointing that out okay so that's Lori holt Lori Holt. Lori Holt. Oh, yeah. And then I had to show you this because I'm a big jigsaw oh, puzzle fan. What'd you find? Look at this p thimble blossom jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's fun. Is look, that it's not a sewing cute? table. Well, it's somebody's extremely, or my sewing table doesn't well, look like that. Yeah, no, I'm not thinking this. But isn't this a fun, let's see, how many, how many, a thousand pieces. Sorry, I keep moving. I'm trying to get the, he's, cut out the glare. He's trying to get the glare so it's not on there. There. So this is a 29 by 19 finished puzzle. We always, on Thanksgiving Day, well, we used to, we, so much, well, we will this year. I've decided we're going to have to. We spread out a puzzle on the table and we do a puzzle. We do one for Thanksgiving and we do one for Christmas. And um, this would be a fun one to do, I think. So anyway, there's a, a jigsaw puzzle, uh, a very affordable gift. I'm not mentioning for what holiday. Okay, that was with that. Here's another thing. So one of the things at Quilt Market, I, I kind of teased you guys a little bit and told you that we went to Quilt Market and I brought back some really fun stuff. These little, this little flamingo thing was one of the things that came from Quilt Market. Um, but these patterns, and I'm gonna spread them out here so Peter can pan over them. These are made by what's called the Villa Rosa Company. And I'm not gonna flip them over because the directions are on it. But this entire card is the pattern. How cool is that? Now these are fairly inexpensive, and they're so inexpensive there is not a price tag on it. But I wanna say they're under five or six bucks for the pattern. And the complete pattern is on the back of the card. That's just how simple these are. Um, and what's great about them is that they really go together quickly, but they're very well written. And they are great for scrap quilts because if you've got stash you're trying to use up. Love that one. I know, isn't that beautiful? beautiful. Um, they give you some really good choices to use up scraps. This one's done with CAFE. I recognize the fabric on that. Um, so this is the Villa Rosa design patterns. We have lots of them. If you're in the store, they're going to be about halfway back on the left-hand side um, hanging on the back of a door. And there's a whole, like a door hanging thing, kind of like a shoe rack almost, full of little patterns like this. Um, and these are just the best. You'll make them again and again and again because they're basics. They're simple, um, good starter quilts or quick, I got to have it done tomorrow because I'm making a quilt for Christmas. 
Sometimes I find one of the things that keeps me from wanting to make a quilt is all the directions and instructions and stuff like that. Right. And one of the things I found with these is, is is it's a great way just to be able to get it get into a quilt, but you don't have to think. Like if you're not in a thinking mood yeah. and you want to make a quilt, this is a great way to go. It is. It is. And, and you know, just think about it. If all the instructions to make the entire quilt fit on the back of this little card, how hard <laughs> can they be? You know? <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, they're just... And you're not cutting a thousand different no. things a thousand different ways. And they're different. Here it's 52 by 58. This one's 51 by 59. 53 by 68. 60 by 80. That's a pretty big one. So they're all different sizes. Um, and certainly they would lend towards making them bigger if you wanted to. It would be very easy to multiply this quilt. So love Villa Rosa patterns. Shout out to these gals that just write some really, really good patterns for our industry. Like them a lot. Okay. Here we go. So this, okay, sometimes, you know, it's a fickle industry. Sometimes we come up with a pattern and we make it as a sample. And by the time the sample actually gets made for the store, <laughs> the fabric has left the building, the pattern has left the building. And we're kind of like, oh, well that showed up a little late, but we'll put it up anyway. Well, invariably, that's the one you all go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over. And this is one <laughs> because we put it out and by the time it got displayed, the pattern was kind of like almost not available and the fabrics were certainly no longer available. So because we are so talented and our staff is so smart, we were able to get the pattern because we begged what? and pleaded and bartered with the pattern designer. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's and that's what helps when you have a store like we do. We went to the tatter, pattern designer and said, we really, really want this pattern. They're like, yes, we'll get it for you. So we got the pattern. Uh, and then, because we know how much you guys were loving this, we what? made a kit. What? I know. And look at the fabrics in it. There's little sunflowers. This must be the only kit left. Actually, I think there's a few out there, but they won't last mm -hmm. long. Also, we have more than one. We do have more I than one. I think I saw... Maybe Can I open it? four or five. No. They've taped it shut. Man, they're like, look at that. Yeah, they're trying to keep you okay. out. I'm just saying, tape tape people at Christmas morning. Well, you know why. Because people open them and... Fat quarter sales. Yeah, and the fat quarter sales come. Oh, shh, don't tell them. Oh, it's a secret. sorry. <laughs> I read your email. He did read the email. Good for you. But tape. Mm, they tape them just to keep them nice and pretty. You have tape on your desk. Just I know. untape it. Retape it. I could. Okay, let's see. It's like be Christmas. Brave. Have you ever opened up oh. Christmas presents and then retaped them? So, Mike, well, no, because <laughs> I get in trouble. My daughter, every year for her, her brother, my son, she would tape his present to the nth degree just to annoy him and wrap it and wrap it. Like, she'd have a huge box and it would be a little bitty thing inside. It was, and he didn't think it was funny. She thought it was hysterical. I'm kind of a non-tape person, too. It's like, by the time you get the wrapping paper off, by golly gum, you shouldn't have to have tape. I like a gift bag. Gift bags are put my stuff. Point. Put my stuff in a gift bag, please. Okay, but that's a that's a man go to wrap. No, 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 I don't have to unwrap it. No, 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 no. Put my stuff in a gift bag. Okay. So I don't have to unwrap it. But, Better yet, just put it in a, like a tub or a basket or something. Now, do you wrap the gifts you give? Yes. Oh, you're so good. See? It takes time. It does take time. It's a lot of work and effort. It's hard to get those corners exactly right. It is. They're like hospital corners. Okay. So here we go. I'm opening it up. But look at this pretty pattern. Look at these pretty fabrics. I love these colors. It will make this pattern. Everything is there that you need. Um, at one point, we had little stickers on the fabric. I think there is somewhere. They're probably at the underneath. But um, it's just the prettiest, prettiest pattern, and it's sold like crazy. You've got oh, enough placemats. Well, there's a table liner and placemats. There's enough fabric in here to make the entire kit. But you could make two table runners or a longer table runner. You know, it's very scrappy. So you've got the opportunity to be creative and kind of do what you want. So, anyway, there she is. Oops, I messed it up. But isn't it pretty? That's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's really pretty, pretty, pretty. And it's still time for fall. You know, we've still got time to do fall things. It's not too if late. If I get started on this right now, I could have it ready for fall. You really could. I'm not saying what year. Yeah, exactly. 2024, 2027, <laughs> 2030. It's not a problem. You just say I'm making it for fall or for a birthday or... Now, when you commit to birth and graduation, you kind of have a deadline. So, I, I know, you know. So, so, if I know somebody who just had a baby, I could say, I'm making this for graduation. And yes. that gives me 
18 years. years. Yeah, 18. And then if you miss high school, you hit the college College, because you can still get for college. <laughs> I'm just saying. Or, you know, whatever. Okay, here's another fun one. And I think we might have talked about this one before, but golly, it's I don't cute. remember. I don't I know can't remember have. those little squirrel faces. I don't either, but I would have remembered. I, th I think we would have. Look at these little squirrels peeking out of the pumpkins. Now, have you seen the pictures on Facebook, Peter, of the people whose pumpkins are being desecrated by squirrels? No. <gasps> No. So when they eat all the parts out of it, okay. it looks like the pumpkin's a monster. It's really scary. Oh. And these people are trying to keep the squirrels out of their pumpkins. And I think one of the emails I sent out had a squirrel with a pumpkin. But if you watch my emails, there was a picture of a little squirrel desecrating. Well, I think the squirrels are not desecrating, but they're the cleanup crew. Well, they're hungry. Because, you know, if you leave a pumpkin out and it makes it until first frost, then this horrible thing happens to your pumpkins. Yeah. So they're the cleanup crew. And squirrels gotta eat too. Yeah, they do. Be nice to squirrels. We like squirrels. Yeah, you get the, you know why they eat pumpkins? Because they forget <laughs> where they bury their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is funny to watch them. Okay, and then I have back here this quilt we're hanging. This is so cute. This fabric is so brand new. This wasn't even out yet. It was like under the table to That's be displayed. Pretty. Our uh, little guy comes in on Wednesdays and hangs all our quilts. And this is Heartland by Cheryl Haynes. It's from the Benertex company. And this is a super, super, super easy quilt to do. You're just talking charm squares here, okay? So that sews together quick. And then this is an applique piece, but it's not a huge, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like have to needle turn and have a meltdown. It's really just raw stitch applique, which is really easy to do. Um, and great beginner quilt. Easy. You got a strip across here. You got a little bit of binding border. You're done. Um, perfect wall hanging. I mean, this would be great for a fall wall hanging. Or, you know, that holiday we're not talking about that's coming. That could be a gift for that, too. So there you go. In the Heartland, we have kits for this, too. So you can get those to the orders department. Okay. List of things to talk about. Um, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We had a winner, and I actually, so I kind of, I cheated, <laughs> because I can. I couldn't pick. There were so many great comments. If you didn't see last week's video, go watch last week's video, and at least read the comments, because our question was, how do you fry your chicken? Do you do fried chicken? And I just love the stories. I think I think we're going to have to start a recipe file somewhere, so people can start turning in recipes somehow. I'm not oh. sure. I'm conjugating. You like the recipe file. I do. I like I, that idea. Because I like, I remember one time you included recipes in something, yes. and I don't remember what it was. It was Cappy's, Cappy's Cake Mix Club that we did before ah, COVID, and yes. I did a recipe every month. Yes. Yeah. So I might do that with Cappy's a bag. I could do that. That'd be fun. I yeah. Thought of that. Okay. Ideas, ideas. So here's the thing. I picked two winners instead two of winners. just one because we're giving away this panel, but I felt like two people really deserved... Yes. This panel. So this is the songbird panel. You know, that's why I work here. <laughs> We're just generous. We can't give We're away We're the fun enough. shop. We are the fun shop. We're the fun, friendly shop. There you go. So I'm giving away this panel, and I'm going to give away two of them. Linda Jenkins is going to win one, and she, I loved her idea. She does a buttermilk soak. I, her, I read that. Wasn't that cool? She soaks it in buttermilk, and uh -huh. then she breads it the next day, and then she fries it in lard. This is a girl out for my heart, baby. Better than bacon, lard. But it's hard to find. It's it kind is. of hard to find. Banter's next door. Our, our meat. I bet our butcher could get them for me. I bet you. Yeah. Bet he could. And then the other one I had to give a shout out to was Maggie Keller. Um, she drives up to Wilson's Market in Arcadia and gets hers. I'm oh. like, perfect. If you've been to Wilson's Market in Arcadia, you know their fried chicken is phenomenal. So I, I'm going to give away two of these this time, okay? You know, because we can. Because I ain't mad at you. I know, they won't care. So we'll give away two. You have to contact the orders department at alwaysandstitches1.com by email or call in the store and talk to Bonnie or Jennifer or Deborah in that department so that they can get this to you, okay? Otherwise, it sits on the shelf. I think there's one Carol Hop. She's got to pick one up. I think that's one from a few weeks ago she didn't get. So be sure you pick that up. Um, okay, here we go. Can I pick this up and not make a mess? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Black Friday sale. Give me just a second here. It doesn't say what it is. 
beautiful little sign, which we, I think we sell these too. They're not, we have one showing, but we can also sell you one. Um, this sale, it doesn't say what it is. I guess, it should, I guess they'll have to go and find the email. They'll have to go find the email. No, I'll tell you. Oh, you are so nice. I'm nice that way. So what we're doing is a clearance the clearance sale. And what that means is our clearance department has all kinds of products from all over the store. Yarn, fabric, notions, cross stitch, wool, punch nail, everything is in that department. It's already marked down 40% off the original retail price. They have orange labels on all that stuff. We're going to take an additional 20% off, which if you do the math ends up being like 52% off at the end of the day. So that's going to be a really good deal for you. It's going to go fast. We've got a lot back there. We're going to spread it out in the patient's classroom and in the clearance classroom, in the clearance room, so you'll have room to shop and move around a little bit. But this sale, when we have it, stuff flies out the door. Um, minimum one yard cuts on fabric, but everything else is kind of no limit, no minimum. Just buy as much as you want, but it's, it's a killer sale. It's a good deal. It's basically cost. And then... The and that other. includes yarn and cross stitch patterns, and or I'm sorry, yarn, knitting yarns, cross stitch patterns. Yes. There's some wool applique patterns. There's a lot of patterns. There's a guys. lot of patterns. Yeah, and and it covers all the departments. So we oh, like to do and this. we put out some cross stitch fabric that was in clearance too. Oh yeah, there is cross and stitch fabric. And there's a there's still a lot of cross stitch fabric. Yeah, it really it covers the entire store. Everything in the store. That is clearance, there. yeah. So it's the entire store is on sale, not just our fabric. It's easy though, kind of just you all you see at. The, the fabric makes the biggest impression, so you don't think there's really anything else in there, but there's so much that's there you know, tucked away in tubs and stuff. you got to dig. And we're going to spread it out a little bit so it won't be so tidy, so maybe you can move around a little bit and see better what's back there. The other thing we're going to do is we're kind of overstocked on fat quarters right now, so we're going to do a $2 fat quarter. What? I know. It blows your mind. I mean, that's... How many fat quarters in the yard? That'd be eight. Well, I need to put down yard. this camera and start shopping. <laughs> yeah, so that it really ends up being eight dollars a yard right now. Fabric is coming in at fifteen, almost sixteen dollars a yard. So that's a really good deal on fabric, and it's just a fat quarter, which we know how much our quilters love fat quarters. Um, no limit, no minimum. They have to be the pre-cut. We will not cut a fat quarter that day. Those two days, you have to buy um, the what's already cut. But they're everywhere. I heard him counting numbers. We're at least 20, 30,000 fat quarters quite literally in our system. I'm, we'll find out how accurate that is after the sale, but, but right now there's a lot of fat quarters out there. So come get your fat quarters while they're here. So that happens Friday from 10 to 4.30. Saturday, 10 to 4.30. It's not available online. If you can't come those two days, I'm sorry, but that's the only two days that'll be available to you. So, that pretty much Is there much anything concludes. you want to share about future emails? Future emails. Well, I don't know. What do I want to share about future Is there anything that people have to look forward to? Well, yeah. There's... Without giving it away. Without giving it away. So, for Christmas time, during the next four weeks, there will be another opportunity. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's, that's enough. All that's enough. Just if you don't get our email, go to our web page, scroll to the bottom, and sign up to get our emails. Because honestly, I, we have so much going on in here, I can't communicate it enough. I've got emails, we got YouTube, we've got you know the videos we're doing, we've got walk in the store, we'll hand you a flyer, ask somebody, call the shop, whatever. There's lots happening. <laughs> we got more ideas than we got time to do. So. Um, Following this little video that I've done, Peter has compiled a lovely video about our staff, and I really hope you stay and watch that because it is it is the purpose of why we are here. And so I hope today you got to eat plenty of turkey or whatever Italian meatballs. I think I'm going to Peter's house. I'm I'm feeling like meatballs and spaghetti and lasagna. And then there's the leftovers. Oh yeah, the leftovers. So here's what we're going to give away. Speaking of leftovers. Here's what we're going to give away at the next What's New video, which will be the after Christmas. So we'll be kind of giving away Christmas things. This is a kit, a peppermint pillow, which if you've seen, it's made out of Shannon fabric. This is the most adorable, adorable pillow. It's a super easy beginner project, and I think it would make a perfect gift for the holidays, or somebody, you know, would want to make it just to have for themselves. So we're going to give away this kit, and here's what I want to hear about, okay? I want to hear what was your most precious thing that you're thankful for this year. 
since it's Thanksgiving, you're going to hear from our staff what they're thankful for. So in the comments, why don't you comment what you're thankful for? Because we'd love to hear that too. We're mostly thankful for all of our customers who watch these videos and who come in our store and have supported us for 15 years now because, uh, gosh, we're blessed. We're blessed to be in this community of Stitchers. My name is Cappy, and I work at Always in Stitches, and I'm really glad to be here. I've worked here since we started, and I love it. I love my job. So that's one thing to be thankful for. I have several things. I don't know if I can limit it to one. So I'm thankful for Tula. I'm thankful for Tula Fabric and the vision that she has to make everything awesome. And then the thing that I'm probably more seriously thankful for is just um, my health and well-being. We've got family members who aren't so well right now who have health concerns, and so um, I'm grateful that I'm healthy and that um, the people around me that I love are trying to be healthy, and for those people who are healthy right now, I'm praying for you. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day, guys. Uh, this is Lenine at Always in Stitches, and I'm to tell you what I'm thankful for. First of all, I'm thankful that Jesus is in my heart, and that I have a great family, and they're all healthy and close, and I have a wonderful husband, and I have Peter behind the camera, who's mean to me. So, but anyway, yes, I'm thankful for Always in Stitches and for all my employees, because we have a great time here. Thank you for being a customer and viewing, and Happy Thanksgiving! Hi, I'm Jessica at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana, and today I'm thankful for fibers. For the people who figured out how to to raise the sheep and dye the wool and spin it into yarns, and these aren't my work, but I love it. it I love the fact that somebody figured it out so that I can wear warm wool, especially in winter when it's cold. So I'm grateful for fiber folks. Hi, I'm Jeff Saxton. I'm sewing machine tech here at Always the Stitches, and I'm grateful for friends and family. I'm also grateful for the fact I get out of bed every day and my bones don't ache too bad. And I'm also grateful for a good cigar and a good pipe. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I work in the orders department. And let me tell you, the first thing that I am thankful for, and I'm thankful for a lot of things, but one thing that I'm really thankful for is this girl. Lisa, it does shipping. So obviously we work together. Uh, I get your order, I fill it, and then I give it to her and she ships it. Well, Lisa injured her knee recently and was gone for a while. And me and Bonnie, who's also in the orders department, had to figure out how to ship things. And we don't want to do that. We want this girl to take care of the shipping because she is really good at it. So that's my first thing for being uh, thankful for. Hi, I'm Jennifer again, orders department, uh, so, and also customer, um, customer relations, <laughs> if you, if you call, yeah, customer solutions. I call it that the concierge. A, there, a concierge, there you go, when you call and you need help uh, filling an order, uh, finding a particular fabric or uh, floss um, or uh, cross stitch fabric or whatever. I'm your go-to gal along with Bonnie, who's also in the uh, orders department. But anyway, so uh, the other things that I'm thankful for, obviously, first off is everybody that works here because this is the best place to work, number one. And number two, I'm thankful for my family, especially my very supportive husband. I have a side gig where I design quilt patterns and here's one. and. Here's one, and there's one. <laughs> um, and my husband supports that very, very much. So I really appreciate all their love and support. Uh, my daughter, too, she's got a great design eye, and they are just really helped me with my business, so I appreciate that. So I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and that you find things that you're thankful for, too. Bye. Hi, I'm Bonnie, and I work in the orders department. And... Um, I'm celebrating a birthday this month, not my birthday birthday, but I'm thankful that they have hip replacements <laughs> because I'm celebrating having a titanium hip. And I'm also thankful for my stash at home because even, I don't even have to go to the fabric store because I can always go to that. Um, what, seriously, what I'm really thankful for is my family and my work family. So we always have a lot of fun around here. So it's like coming to work to have fun. So have a good Thanksgiving and enjoy <clears throat> all your wonderful uh, family and friends. 
Hi, I'm Nancy and I work in inventory here at the shop and this is Lisa. She answers the phone so you might have talked to her on the phone and she does our shipping. And the things that I'm thankful for are um, a family and friends like my big friend Lisa and um, I'm also thankful for snow. How about you Lisa? <laughs> Can we redo this? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You can't tell me what I'm thankful for. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm Lisa, and I'm thankful for my friend Nancy, who got me to come here and work. And I'm thankful that my leg is healing. Yay. Which, I'm back to work. Yes. Hi, I'm Paige with the de repair department at Always and Stitches, um, and I'm thankful for coffee. Hi, I'm Betty here at Always and Stitches. And as we think about Thanksgiving, I am thankful for singing snowmen. Oh, so much fun. And I am also thankful for my friends, for my family, for my church, um, for this wonderful place where I get to work and uh, mingle with the customers and stuff. So I hope you all have a very blessed Thanksgiving and we'll see you Friday and Saturday for our super sale. Hi, I'm Pam. I wish you everybody a happy Thanksgiving and I am thankful for my big brood of a dog, Theo, who drives everybody crazy when they meet him. But what I'm really thankful for are all of my friends that I have at Always in Stitches and all of the customers that I have come to know through this, the past three and a half years that I've been here and you all have been wonderful. It makes coming to work every day such a joy. You have no idea. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hi, I'm Julie from Always in Stitches. Um, I am most thankful for all the great people I get to work with and the customers. This is a great shop. I was a stay-at-home mom for 28 years, and I ended up working here, and I absolutely love it. So that is one of the things I'm most grateful for. Yeah. I just have a question. Hello! Happy Thanksgiving. This is Stephanie from Always in Stitches. We're doing a little video on what we're thankful for. And of course, we're all thankful for our jobs because today we need those jobs and we're, we have a great place to work. But I'm also thankful for my health. Many people my age have health issues that I don't. And I'm so thankful for my family. Four beautiful boys, 11 wonderful grandchildren. Um, they keep me busy. So that's what I'm thankful for this year. Hope you're having a great day. Bye. Hey, I'm Kathy with Always in Stitches in Noblesville and I work in the sewing department. I am thankful for a few things. One thing I'm really thankful for is my Diet Mountain Dew because without my Diet Mountain Dew, I don't think I'd survive the day. The other thing that I'm really truly thankful for is the opportunity to work here. Um, Lenine and Kathy took a chance on me many years ago, okay. almost six, and um, I've got the opportunity to do many jobs in the store, but the one I love the most is in the sewing department. It's given me a purpose. Um, I used to be a teacher, and I felt I knew what my purpose was, and then I came here, and I was like, how can I help? And I started learning all the things about sewing, and now I know what my purpose is here is to help others. So I'm just very thankful for that. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, hi everyone. I just wanted to tell you that um, I had to take my glasses off because they were fogged up from being outside. And the thing that I'm thankful for right at this moment is that it didn't take me any longer than, than it did to figure out how to unlock the dumpster to put the trash in. <laughs> so, uh, cause it's really cold outside. But more seriously, um, I'm thankful for all of my blessings and that includes a lot of things. That includes my family, that includes this store and all the people that work here, and it includes my church. So I just want to um, wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, just enjoy the blessings that you have to share. Hi, I'm Deborah, and my silly thankfulness is um, candy corn. I love candy corn with peanuts too. And the serious thankfulness is my family and my work family. I enjoy being with both. 
Good morning. My name is Dawn Cornell. I work at Always in Stitches and we are supposed to tell you two things that we're grateful for. One that's kind of funny and one that's kind of not so funny. So my uh, one thing is flushing toilets. Uh, when I was little, we had an outhouse. So I am so totally thankful for toilets that flush that are inside the house. Thank you for that. And the other thing I'm thankful for is God's grace because I am far from perfect and every day I rely on God's grace to, uh, that he loves me through my imperfectness and in spite of myself. So I hope all of you have a great Thanksgiving.